Hi you guys, Quisha here, back with another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's Bombshell Me TV. Let's get right into the video. Today we will be talking about five signs that you are letting fear hold you back from your full potential. Sign number one, you complain a whole lot. A whole lot and you never do anything about it. You would rather stay in a situation that is uncomfortable because you don't want to enter into a zone that is unknown. You don't want to try and fail. You don't want to put yourself in a situation um, where you just you don't feel like yourself or it's not normal to you. So instead, you stay in a situation that you are in but you complain a lot because you're always picturing this better thing. You're always picturing this better situation. If you complain a lot and you take no action, it's a sign that you are letting fear control your, your life and you're letting fear hold you back from reaching your full potential. Sign number two, you second guess all of your decisions. There are decisions that you make that you, you know you know that this is the right decision. You know this is what's best for me. You know like if I do this, then this, this, and this will happen. But somewhere along the line, you just instant, you just change your mind out of nowhere, and it's like all of a sudden you can't really picture yourself following through with that decision out just for no reason. At all. You don't really have a good reason. Fear, fear. That is the reason. If you know that this decision could change your life for the better or change your life for the good in a positive way and you still don't do it, that's a sign that you're letting fear hold you back from your full potential. Sign number three, you have a very long list of excuses. You know that a certain thing, a certain decision could change your life for the better, a certain move, a certain opportunity could change your life for the better but you don't follow through because you have this list of excuses as to why you shouldn't do it, why it won't work, why it isn't the right time, why that's the wrong move. You have this long list of excuses and at the end of the day, none of them actually really make sense or they aren't really big enough to not follow through with, a, with whatever move that it is that you need to make. But because of fear these excuses are because of fear these excuses they're great excuses they're exactly what you need to not move forward in your life to not reach your full potential so sign number three if you have a long list of excuses that at the end of the day really don't even make sense there's a sign that you're letting fear magnify these excuses so that they can fit into your mind as to why you shouldn't move forward with your decision or move forward with this opportunity. Sign number four, you give up really easily. And when I say really easily, I mean nothing bad has even really happened yet. You haven't even really like put yourself out there completely. You haven't even really failed. It's just the thought of failure, the thought of not being good enough, the thought of the unknown it messes with your brain and you just you give up oh this wasn't it this wasn't the right opportunity this wasn't the right time um it wasn't gonna work anyways you give up so easily for no good reason at all that is a sign that you are letting fear hold you back from your full potential it's it's not that it wasn't gonna be good enough it's not that it couldn't have worked it's not that it wasn't the right time. It's that there was this fear that said, uh, it's time to pull the plug on this. It's time to run for the hills because it's getting a little scary. We don't know what's going to happen. So we need to make an excuse so we can get up at it. Sign number five. This is a big one. Sign, num sign at number five is that you are all talk and no action. If you have been stuck in the planning phase, of whatever it is that you're trying to do for years months I don't, I, I don't know how long but if you've been stuck in that phase for a long time now that's a sign that you are letting fear hold you back from your full potential it's time for some action 
I don't care. Like, it ain't that much planning in the world. What's holding you back? I really think that your plan is a good one. It's, it's ready. It's ready for some action. Oh, you can't just be all talking, no action. You can't sit in the planning phase forever. You want to know why you're still planning? Because you're letting that fear of failure, that fear, fear of the unknown, hold you back from your full potential. You could have already accomplished that. You could have already been there, did that. You could already be where you want to be, but you're just sitting and you're planning and you're just talking about it. You're all talk, no action. Why? Because you're letting fear hold you back from your full potential. You are. So yes, it's time to stop planning. It's time to stop making a list of excuses. It's time to stop second guessing your decisions. It is time to take a hold of your life and just allow yourself to reach your full potential. Stop letting fear hold you back. What is there to be afraid of? It's okay. Stop complaining. Stop making excuses. Just get out there and do what you got to do so that you can reach your full potential. You can have the life that you want. You can reach, you can just be happy. We all want to be happy, but if you keep letting fear run you and you keep letting fear keep you in this little box of unhappiness, and you're just always going to be miserable. So hopefully, if one of these five signs applies to you, you will do what you have to do to fix it, to erase that fear so that you can move forward with your life and you could become the person that you want to become. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video from Bombshell Me TV. See ya.